Hey there YouTube, Curiously Core here, and welcome back to part three in the DIY Home Automation for Beginners series. In the last video, we built a smart plug using a Sonoff Basic and flashed it with Tasmoda. In this video, we're going to install Home Assistant, do some basic configuration, and set up our smart plug. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is to go to the Home Assistant website. And then we're going to go to the installation instructions and download the correct image for your device. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B here, so I'm going to grab the recommended image. While that's downloading, I can pop over to the Belena Etcher website and I can get that downloaded too. I already have Etcher downloaded, so when Hassio finishes downloading, I'll just go ahead and open it up. First, we need to select the Raspberry Pi image, and my USB drive is already selected, so I'm just going to hit flash. Once it's finished flashing and validating, which this process actually is being sped up here, it takes much longer then we can go ahead and just pop the SD card right out and it's ready to put into our Raspberry Pi. This installation method requires a network cable. There are instructions on the website of how to configure wireless. However, they don't currently seem to be working. So there's ways that you can go back and configure wireless afterwards and we can get into that uh, in another video. Now in my router, I can go in and check the client list to find the IP address. So I can see HassIO is at 192.168.50.167. So I'm going to browse to 192.168.50.167 colon 8.123. Now it's going to show me here that it, it's actually processing. And about 20 minutes later, it's ready to go. So I put in my name and uh, password. And then it's going to ask me to log back in. And so I'm going to log in using those credentials I just created. And when it asks you here if you want to save the login, definitely save the login because we're going to be refreshing a lot and it's really annoying to have it log you out all the time. So first we're going to pop over to the HassIO add-on store and we're going to grab a couple of really important add-ons. And the first one is going to be Samba. So what Samba is going to allow us to do is to get direct file access to the files on the Raspberry Pi. So once it's installed, set up a username and password and save your configuration. I also need to add my subnet, which is a .50, uh, because as you can see, all my IP addresses are 192.168.50. Something. Then I'm ready to start, and after that's done, I can actually browse directly to slash slash 192.168.50.167. And if you haven't been through this before, it'll ask you for your username and password. You just pop that in there and bam, we have access to the config files. I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code, but you could definitely use Notepad++ here as well. Just make sure you're using an editor that doesn't um, have any like rich text or weird formatting like WordPad or Microsoft Word. So the next thing we're going to grab is the Mosquito Broker. And so this is actually going to be our MQTT server for our smart home. Once Mosquito is installed, we're basically going to do the same thing we did with Samba and set up username and password. One thing that I noted here is in the past, I have accidentally hit start before I hit save, and it actually dumps my config. So if you hit start and you notice it drops your, your login, username, and password, it's just because you need to hit save first. So now MQTT is set up and ready to go. We are ready to configure our smart plug. So the smart plug I created in the last video is at 192.168.50.82. So browse to wherever yours is currently set up. Obviously, it's going to have to be plugged in and turned on. And then we're going to go to configure and configure MQTT. Put in the host name, which is our home assistant IP address. And then the username and password that we just set up in the mosquito broker config. For the topic, I'm going to name it my underscore smart underscore plug 
and then hit save and we're ready to go back to home assistant and configure it so first we need to go to integrations and uh, configure the mqtt to enable discovery we only need to do this for the first device that you're setting up any subsequent um, devices you set up with MQTT, you can skip that step. And then in the configuration.yml file that we found in our Samba share, we're gonna set up a switch with a platform of MQTT. I'm gonna name it my smart plug. And then I need to set a command topic, which is what uh, Home Assistant is going to send our Sonoff, uh, our Tasmoda switch to tell it to turn on or off. And I need to set a state topic, which is what Home Assistant is going to use to determine whether it's currently on or off. And then I need to set the payloads up, and Tasmoda uses payload of on for payload on and a payload of off for payload off. Now we're ready to go in and validate the configuration. And as long as everything comes back green, go ahead and restart the server. Now it takes a little while for this command to go through. So I like to click around a little bit and wait for it to pop up and tell me that it's lost connection. And there it goes, connection's lost. So once that connection's lost message goes away, we're ready to go ahead and configure the device in our UI. So we're gonna go to configure UI on the overview page and opt to take control. And we're gonna create a entity card. And this is the first card we're creating, so I'm just gonna name it my first card and we're going to add the my smart plug entity that we just set up hit save and there we go we can click on and off and watch the sawn off actually toggle on and off from here there's a ton you can do you can set up sensors like weather apis integrate existing smart devices into your home assistant or start setting up automations in the next video for the series, I'm going to show you how to hack a dumb device and control it from Home Assistant. After that, I plan on doing a few more videos on Home Assistant configuration, so if there's anything specific you want me to cover, leave me a comment below. I hope these videos have begun to give you a foundation to building the smart home of your dreams. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to hit that button and follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Thanks for joining me, and as always, happy hacking!